What's going on to all of my cancer crabs out there? How y'all doing? So let's get into it. All right, this is for cancer crabs. This is for you cancers. All right. So for you cancers, you have the Eight of Cups, the Judgment, the Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Seven of Swords. So first and foremost, I just want to say I found out what those white orbs mean and um, like the spirit orbs and stuff like this that people be saying that, you know, I have in my videos, which I do. They, act, they actually mean spirits that haven't necessarily made the transition yet. Right. They're still kind of trapped within this world, you know, the physical reality. So after this video, I'm actually going to go ahead and do a ritual for them to make the transition smoothly so that that way they don't have to, you know, they don't have to be trapped here, you know. But um, anyway, so for you cancer crabs, the eight of cups, the judgment and the page of swords, um, this represents how a lot of you cancers right now. Um. Uh, right now, you cancers are pretty much leaving yourselves open for a brand new relationship. The Eight of Cups, the Judgment, the Page of Swords, not taking anybody who's going to be wasting your time with playing games seriously at all. Um, potentially, you know, getting some people who are still interested in you, but you just peep game from a mile away. You know, you can't just, just just see it coming, just see the BS coming from a, a mile away now. And you can't see crabs are just like, nah, it's not going to fly. And the page of, of swords is they're trying to get their claws into you, so to speak. They're trying to get their claws into you. They're, they're telling you a whole lot. And you can't see crabs are like, yeah, I right, whatever it is that you say, because you can't see crabs already know what time it is. You already lived through too much. You're, you've already seen too much. Being over here on this channel, you've learned too much, right? Because anybody who's in the game should be doing everything that they can to get out of it. You know, gangsters and stuff like this, you know, gangsters, they call themselves being gangsters is fly. But gangsters call themselves being in the game. And the whole point of being a gangster, unfortunately, is to illegally cut corners but eventually, though, if any kind of real gangster with common sense understands that they're going to have to exit the game and that it's not for it's not for a lifetime. It's not you're not supposed to be in the game forever. Now, what am I saying? I'm saying that that's the same principle when it comes to playing games. Eventually, with all these people trying to waste their time and waste people's time, everybody needs to stop playing games. Everyone, without exception, because even the people who think that they're so much of masterminds, they end, they eventually ended up running out of time, too. And then sometimes they supposedly they want to get serious, but then they too old to get serious. They too old to financially be responsible. They're too old to get someone because they because the people in their age group has moved on or don't necessarily have a family, but they don't want to be with them because they know them from around the way. And then they try to date much younger. And that still backfires too. But a lot of you cancers just see that coming, the game's coming from a mile away. And a lot of you cancers are like, nah. As of right now, the Nine of Swords and the, the Knight of Wands, right, is about how a lot of you cancers are just, you know, you're starting to question like, how many people are playing games with you? You know, how many people have been playing games with you in your life? And I'm going to say this, though, cancer, not everybody has been playing games with you. I'm, I'm not going to sit up here and lie and, and make it seem like not everybody been out like everybody's been out here playing games with you. You do have some people who have been upfront, direct about what they want, who they want. Right. What's going on? And. You know, and um, you got to also take into consideration, though, is that, you know, just know, Cancer, that everybody that, you know, 
even the people who play games, they still have their moment of truth where they they know themselves that they be on BS. They know it, you know? It's just that they come out into the world and they try to make it seem like everything is okay, right? They Some, some of them put on a pound of makeup. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of them try to make themselves the flyest person in, in the world and stuff like this the most handsome person in the world and all this other type of stuff. But then at the same time, when you really get to know them, all of that type of stuff is nothing but a mask because they end up being a, a, a shell of their former selves, a, a, um, you know, a shadow of their former selves where it's like there's nothing really there behind this type of stuff. So the way that, the way that you're feeling right now, see, this is what I've been trying to say to you, Cancer Crabs, some of y'all. The way that a lot of y'all have been feeling right now, you don't necessarily need to feel like that because you you tripping on the idea of social media and this hype around being in a relationship when in actuality, what I'm trying to tell you is what I, I guess I should just tell you blatantly is you cancer crabs are in position to where it is that a lot of y'all want to be. You know, and one thing that I got to notice, one thing that I have to notice that I talk about is a lot of times, depending on what it is that I talk about in my readings, I notice that whenever it is that I give rough readings, that's when people are like, oh, you know, they, you know, I don't get a lot of views. Listen, if y'all want real help, okay, you know, and it doesn't matter about the zodiac sign, right? If y'all want real help from me, Y'all need to understand to stop cherry picking. Not every, I said this before in a video, not everything, not every reading is going to be fantastic and convenient and it's like eating ice cream and having things going exactly the way you wanted it to. Sometimes things will get rough because you will have to fix problems in your life in order for you to get to the next level. For you cancer crabs, what are y'all what y'all are not listening to because some of y'all are in your emotions that I've been saying over the past couple of weeks is that you cancer crabs, the difficulty that a lot of you cancer crabs are having, listen to me closely, is because you're at a level now where you're able to see past through people's BS. And the reason why it's harder for you or it may be more difficult for you now is because you are not going to allow people to just cherry pick and hand pick you anything. And what I mean when I say anything, I don't mean anything in the sense of anything at all. I mean, just anything, anything that they want to give to you, they decide what they want to give to you no matter if it's disrespect. What I'm saying is you can't listen to me closely now. Stop getting in your cancer crabs emotions because it's wrong because you're not listening to what I'm saying if you get in it. You cancer crabs are in pristine position because there's no drama in your life, which is a good thing because you, you can't be in a functional relationship with a bunch of drama all over the place. Why? Because the Ten of Pentacles. Soon as you meet somebody, this is what is going to be the case. You'll meet somebody, you'll hang out with them, you go out with them, and guess what? Soon right after that, the two of you won't be together. You know why? Too much drama in your life. Too much drama that they may bring in into your life. Too much drama that you may bring into your life. So being quote-unquote boring, see, this is what I want people to understand. Being quote unquote boring by definition, I can show anybody the proof of this. It means that you are positioning yourself because you are getting your stuff together. I don't know one super exciting person that always need to be excited that is actually handling their business. If you're a super exciting person, 10 chances out of 10, I guarantee you, your life is trash no matter what it looks like. Because you can't always do everything so exciting. 24 hours. Or I should say to give it to give it to give it some 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 spare time, to give it some some realistic feel to it, 16 out of 24 hours. 
you need to actually be able to be consistent with something. And sometimes having a partner that's an adrenaline junkie or caught up with what's exciting and what not, what's not, and tries to decide for you what's exciting and what's not, those will end up being the people that hold you back. So what does this have to do with anything, Cancer? What this has to deal with, y'all, is y'all right now are single individuals. Yes, a lot of people are coming to you, but you're just curving them because you're doing the very same thing that I suggested you to do, which is for y'all to excommunicate or make it more difficult and to, to, to essentially stop messing with the people that essentially are wasting your time because they're playing games. This is what it is. See, this is what I'm trying to say. Because maybe maybe you need some more understanding. The eight of pentacles, the two of the two of pentacles. Again, you working on yourselves, doing your thing, right? A lot of you cancer crabs are wondering, and I know y'all are wondering. You know, when are you going to get a chance? When are you going to actually get a chance to get to know other people that are built right, that are functional, right? Right. The fool and the seven of swords is the fool represents. Um, as of right now, you're going to keep getting tested by dysfunctional uh groupies dysfunctional <laughs> people who are caught up with the with the with the the games why because like i said 90% of the times that's what's out and that one okay so let me go ahead and help you cancer crabs out if one of the things that you should be looking for when i say character one of the things that y'all should be looking for is a person to be boring but they have their ducks in a line they have the things that they are going to do already known and mapped out they have some form of direction those are some of the people that you should be getting with another sign let me give you another sign another sign that that you know you're compatible with the person and that i should say you i would say not necessarily compatible because that's up to you right you deciding whether or not you're going to hang out with them is up to you. But another way to tell if a person is really decent is stop worrying about this money thing too much. I hear way too many people talk about money way too much from the sense that, oh, this person was able to fool me with all this money because they was doing this. And what does that have to do with anything? Right. And now. Right. I guess it's time for me to really start talking about it. The way that the transition is from the from real dating to modern day dating is really bougie and stuck up because now everybody's I could say everybody, but a lot of people are wondering about money. A lot of people are wondering about, you know, what's what classifies as good. Right. And what classifies as good is if you're conspicuously handsome and if you're disgustingly rich and if you can end up being a combination of the two. And have some sort of degree, some sort of certification from some sort of college or whatever the case may be or, or, or whatnot, then you're really winning. But it, but this is where it is that we're talking about character ends up not necessarily being a very good thing. So, or, you know, character ends up not necessarily being, not necessarily a very good, yeah, I guess you could say that, not a very good thing because people are not necessarily dating for character. They're dating for money and and looks and keeping up with the Joneses. So if you're finding value with this reading, then it means it's then, sorry, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. There's a link in the comment section called the link tree, right? Which will take you to a website, right? Where you have my Instagram page, the books that I have that are on Amazon, my you oh well, my YouTube channel is here. Just subscribe. Um uh, my clothing store, as well as my Instagram page. Go and follow me on Instagram. Um, for my website for private tarot re readings, click on it. Uh, if you you know look at my rates and stuff like this. If you don't necessarily want to pay from there through PayPal, right or anything like that, there's a cash app, a uh, cash tag there above where it says Buy Now. So that's my cash app, cash tag, right? Just in case if you want to pay me through uh, cash app. But the buy now button is actually uh, PayPal. So you have two forms of payment right then and there in your face. And if you like, if you like help 
for me to, to direct you and stuff like this, then contact me at Kareem Spareworks at Yahoo.com. But um, I'm saying all that to say that you cancer crabs are anticipating meeting somebody a little bit too quickly. And what a lot of y'all are not paying attention is, and this is part of where a lot of you cancer crabs need to kind of step your game up, is that this is meeting people who are dysfunctional as part of the journey because you need to have these types of experiences. Don't worry, I'm going to start clarifying. This video is just going to be longer. It is what it is. It's my channel. It is what it is. But the point is, is that, you know, it's not like I got to be anywhere. But the, but the point is, is that you, this is a part of the dating process too. Learning how to differentiate or, or, or learn the differences between somebody who's real and who has real value long term, because value can only be measured long term. It's, that's one thing that a lot of people don't get. Value can only be measured over a certain course of time. For you to instantly know how deep and, and heavy the value is of a person, place, or thing, that's a misnomer. That doesn't exist. You may, you may think you know about a person's value up front, and then it'll, but it'll, but then they may have value that you can see immediately. But then when you get into it with them and you get to know them a little bit more, and you see that they're even more, they're deeper than even this. Now it's like, oh wow, you didn't expect to to find out all of this. So Let's clarify some of these cards, right? Let's clarify the, um, don't worry, Cancer. Y'all will end up doing better, you know? Don't chastise me and stuff like this with low view counts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? You know? Watch the video. I'm trying to help you. It may not necessarily be what it is that you, you want, but it's something that you need to hear in order for you to step your game up. Because people don't know how to date. And I know that. So let's clarify the um, the fool. Matter of fact, let's clarify the seven of swords. Let's clarify the seven of swords. Show you what it is a little bit of what I'm talking about. Show you what I'm talking about. Why being patient, which is a cancer crab thing, and, and selecting the correct person whom you're hanging with is a very is a good idea and it's something that you need to do and it's something that you need to take your time doing. So you have the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Two of Swords, and you have the Five of Swords, right? So these these cards here, right? These cards here are about the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Right. These cards are about how you you may end up because, see, you may end up ten of cups. You may end up getting into it with somebody. And then the two of you may actually end up not being able to hang out with each other or be with each other because you find out some sort of serious red flag about these people that had you look at them a certain kind of way. Right. And now the nine of swords, you put all this time and energy and money and love into this person. That the two of you can essentially grow together and then you end up you end up missing out or you end up that investment ends up falling through see that's why you need to be patient and and don't worry about when and where again you're dating people it's just that a lot of times people are coming to you with some trash and a lot of you cancer crabs are able to see it the two of swords and the five of swords now represents Again, a lot of people don't know that you cancer crabs know that when they're when they are when they aren't serious and they're not ready, right? You know what you're looking at. They don't know that you know what it is that they've got going on. So you now have a personal responsibility to yourself to where when you see people start like this, right? Seven of Swords, but some of them potentially got themselves out of a relationship. They're not telling you about you're the rebound. It means it's time for you to leave these people alone, but that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. 
trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. As of right now, we have 4,590. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Hit the notification bell. Set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos.